hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel but before that i am really sorry i am really really sorry i have not been putting out content but we'll get to the nitty gritties of that later and why i have not been shooting okay but right now let's introduce the newbies habari zenyu karibuni sana this is dan and jerry and i am the owner of this channel i love to be here i really love to create content but sometimes i'm very inconsistent but that's not the problem Karibu sana, you came at the right time. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting, and just showing me support on my videos. I am so grateful. And I know you kept saying uh, some forex stuff and it kind of confused you. And I'm here to just set the record straight and give you a life update where I have been. <coughs> Sorry where I have been, what I've been up to, what's going on with my life. And I am so happy to actually finally shoot content today. Ebu checky how ready I am. Like, look at the makeup even. Like, child. Can you go? Even. I even did a full face paint for you guys. So that I could welcome you with Mbwen Mbwen and Remo and everything we used to say. <laughs> when we were writing our inches. Guys, thank you so much for always loving loving on my content. And I've seen we've grown to go at 231 subscribers. And I am so happy you haven't left me yet. I am not yet. I am so glad you have stuck with me because you're amazing you're amazing and i know you're asking yourself what's this ring about i mean you know things change you know what i'm saying don't get it twisted though <laughs> i'm not engaged let me set the record straight because i know you're wondering what this ring let me even just dive right into the video so thank you guys for being here i am so glad that you clicked on this video if you're new please like share comment and subscribe at least by the end of the year, I honestly want to reach to a 1K subscribers. And I have been so reluctant about it. And I have been chilling so much about it. But I feel like this is our last lap. And I need to run. And I, I need to run with you guys. And I need you to help me get there. So please help me get there, please. Please, only you can help me get there, okay? Thank you so much. So, life update. Basically, this is what the video is going to be about. I feel like it's gonna be like a million hours it's gonna be a lot a lot a lot happening i even had to write exactly what's going on sorry exactly what is going on and things i need to fill you on in on and such and such and such it's a little chilly so i decided to just throw on a sweater you know because it's a little cold i like this jumpsuit this bodysuit it's so cute and i like the color as well let's leave that aside okay life updates um first of all how have you been i've been great uh except i've had my highs and my lows and life has just been happening so fast and time has been running so quickly and i'm like holy crap where has half of the year gone and even as i shoot this i took time to to stay at home well i didn't really take time i was forced to stay in the house because today is mandamano and if you're a kenyan you already know what that means if you're not kenyan eh, mandamano is demonstrations against uh, the government because the government has been making us live very miserable lives but that aside anyway yeah so i had to to like just put myself out there and just encourage myself to shoot because you, you see how sometimes you 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 want to do something but then you keep postponing you keep saying i'm gonna do it tomorrow i'm gonna do it tomorrow i'm gonna do it tomorrow because i know for a fact if i mean had i set time to actually uh shoot on a weekday or a certain time of the of the week i would have content rolled up i mean planned for the week but i have not been doing that for reasons that i don't even know how to explain but it's been it's been a lot it's been a lot a lot has been happening let's get to what this a lot is uh first of all i opened a business i opened a business well the business had been there except it was running online and now it was moved to uh to a physical location that's some good news hey confetti somebody yay 
yeah so i was able to open a shop in the cbd and that honestly has been taking all my time but now i feel like right now i can be able to plan it's been now i think this is the third month the third month i started in may june july yeah this is the third month so i feel like right now i understand the dynamics of the business and i know what i need to do so that i'm not like there all the time you know what i'm saying i haven't hired anyone yet but i'm looking to hire somebody soon and the business is doing not so bad for a startup and i am so grateful so number one that is what has been taking a lot of my time and i have not even had time to shoot or to think about what content to put out i am so sorry i i, I don't even think you're gonna take my sorry anymore I'm, I'm i'm also going to tell you that please allow me to put out content when i can that's a bit very big for somebody who wants to get to 1k subscribers but honestly i need to be uh i need to be honest with myself okay and it's been a little bit difficult to make content with everything that has been happening in my life so business number one business has is is what has been stealing me away from you guys because it's a young business it requires a lot of nurturing it requires a lot of your presence it requires a lot of just you being there hands-on and you know if you remember that video i told you about business business can be a lot and sometimes you're not in the right hand space if your business is struggling if i do say so myself so of course uh setting up the business and trying to make sure that everything is working out just trying to figure out uh what market days works best with my schedule and such and such and such so guys i have a physical shop in the cbd it's uh you remember brooks Clad house we now have a physical location yeah we have a physical location and that's on tomboya street on magobano exhibition first floor shop number 3c please if you need anything from our shop you can always pass by also follow us on instagram uh this is me plugging my business shamelessly <laughs> yeah so yeah you can follow us on instagram at brooks cloud house and on tiktok at brooks cloud house and on instagram we have a page at brooks cloud house so basically i sell thrifted clothes i sell really cute pieces just go to our instagram page and you will see it so that's just is about the business and i'm just looking at uh my list of the things that i decided of course that was work my career also i need to tell you guys that i'm now a mua i'm now a makeup artist no i i don't even know like this idea came to me and i had already opened my shop and i was like how about i just do makeup on people i've done makeup on my mom's face for the longest time and every day i used to learn new stuff and then on myself as well i learned so much while i progressed in my makeup journey and right now i can combine a fucking look a whole face page i mean look at me i look like a million bucks so yeah so um right now i do makeup i am a certified makeup artist i am so glad because how will i say it i i, I wouldn't say i'm certified really i think i'll cut this part i can't say it yeah so i'm doing makeup and i am so glad that i bounced onto that because i really love to do makeup anyone i do their face they're always like oh my god i look so pretty oh my god i can't believe this is my face you know every time i do it it gives me so much pleasure it gives me so much happiness and uh for all your makeup needs i mean look at me just look at me like child like look at this makeup wouldn't you pay some cash for this look look like child <laughs> i love it on me i really really do um yeah so i'm i'm a moa now you can holler at me please do follow me at club by brooks on instagram and i'm looking and i'm looking at this as a very uh a very how will i call it a very what what's the word for uh, kualao 
um i'm looking at this as a very fluid black hey fluid blonde fluid brown is it fluid i don't think it's fluid because when you say fluid it could be anything i'm looking at it as a fashion hub you know you get your dresses you get your makeup done if you want shoes you get them too so that's that's the whole idea of me creating looks clad house and i want it to be a brand like i want to be i want it to be an international brand a brand where you walk uh, you walk around anywhere and then you see Brooks Glad House. I'm a Brooks the brand. Brooks the brand is going to be like the overall, you know what I'm saying? Gosh, I have big dreams. I have big dreams and I'm a business person and I have to achieve all this. And right now I am on the way to where I'm going, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Like for people, you always say it's like you're on the way to where you're going. So where are you going towards uh brooks the brand what are you doing about brooks the brand okay so i'm here i've set up a shop in dao i'm doing makeup now i sell treated clothes and um, i also sell shoes but i sell a certain kind of shoes these bohemian looking shoes they're called espadrilles i'm going to insert a photo there so that you have an idea of what i'm saying yeah so please Please, 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 please support my business. It could use your support. I am so grateful because we're growing and we're growing. We're growing and we're growing fast because God is watching over us and I'm so grateful about that. And uh, I feel like I need now to tell you moving forward what I'm going to be doing. Um, hmm. Moving forward, I'm looking to grow my channel, honestly, because I honestly love YouTube. I love to create content. I love to be present for for this video. I love to to tell people about stuff. I love to to share lessons I've learned. I I I love to just uh, watch people share stuff on YouTube as well. And moving forward, I am promising new content. Even though it's not weekly, I am promising new content. I will push myself to the core. I will push myself to the core. Is all I'm saying, okay? And please don't give up on me. Please don't, because I haven't given up on myself. <laughs> yeah, and Brooks, uh, and and this channel is going to grow. It's going to grow, and I want you to grow with me as. As well, I want us to look back and be like, Kai, you know, when we had just 200 subscribers, you know. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to growing with you as I grow as well. So, yeah, um, I did a full video for this look. So, probably it's going to come up next week. I don't know. I did a full video. It's It's crazy how I created this look. I love it. I really do. I really, really amazing. I love it and uh i guess i guess that's it so before i go maybe i could share with you three lessons that i learned during the break that i wasn't on youtube um one thing i learned is that uh i cannot live my life waiting okay i can't live my life waiting for for me to get a ring light so that i start shooting content or for me to get a, a, a good camera for me to be able to shoot like quality content you cannot live your life waiting and i remember doing this tiktok video and remembering that i i, I struggled a lot i struggled a lot during that time i was on a break it was I, I struggled a lot honestly because i was like no which one is my priority because at the time i was in debt honestly bad debt bad debt is crazy crazy bad debt it's not even funny and during that time i was wondering like if i go out with this money will people think that i am stealing their money but then again even though i am in debt i don't need to actually wait to finish paying that debt so that i'm able to enjoy my life i can enjoy my life while i pay that debt you understand so that's the one one of the biggest lessons i learned I, I i will forever hold that dear to my heart because living your life waiting and you know me guys you know me i am one who wants to thrive in everything i do 
I am one who I, I love life. Jesus, I love life. I cannot imagine not being alive, you know. And even though when even though I'm gonna die someday, I pray that even on my deathbed, I will be content with the things I've done for the world, to the world, and in the world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm I'm not trying to leave my love my life waiting, and that's one of the things that was such a huge lesson for me. The other thing I'm learning is that um, for for anyone in a relationship, uh, it's it's not always uh, your way or the highway because you're in a partnership. And if your idea is not taken, don't take it personal because people have been raised in different homes and they think differently than you do. They're not your sibling. I mean, even your sibling thinks differently from you and it can't always be the highway or the i mean it can't be your way or the highway and as an avoidant <laughs> my attachment style is avoidant crazy crazy we're gonna get to the to the nitty-gritties of that and i feel like i'm gonna do parts of like things i learned during this time because there's so much there was to learn I was saying I am an avoidant and being an avoidant you basically don't you're scared of commitment honestly you're scared of commitment if any guys come and screws up one time they're like um you know what I can't uh okay they screw up one time for example what do they do they they fail to communicate and you're so upset about this I was always on exit like Miss is a deal nonsense come here. Always a communicator. Did you run an adult? Yet I'm also not a good communicator because why? Nikona, passive aggression. What is that? You should communicate your feelings exactly how you feel. And I, I, I was quick to be like fucking break this up. I don't want this. I don't want this. And <laughs> oh, my ex could tell you. I mean, you can go too. Like, like, like anyone i've ever been with they will tell you i was always on exit mode like you do this i'm like fuck this to not break up and then the next day i'm like what did i do you know so as an avoidant that was also something that i was really struggling to struggling with and now i can see that i am fully committed to anything that i put my mind to and I am a better person, honestly. As I sit here, I sit here proud of myself because I honestly did work, did work on myself. And then the last lesson would be, uh, let me try and remember because I didn't write it down, that it's very important to have good friends. Uh, during this time, my solace was my friends. And I have really beautiful, over time, let me give you a little story before I just share this lesson about my friends or friendships per se. Uh, growing up, I always wanted a best friend. Uh, my mom and I were not that close, so <laughs> my mom was busy working, so we never really talked about anything. And I always wanted a best friend. And I wondered, how do you, like, get a best friend? Well, in, in campus, I mean, in primary school, I used to see people with their besties and they were everything. They were really good friends and such and such. But I never had my person growing up. And that used to break my heart. Like, why can't I find a good friend? Why can't I find someone who we are gelling with, we are doing we're doing life with we are living our best lives i never had that and then i went to high school and i got one who was quite aloof <laughs> she she was there but then she wasn't there so i i it was a bit fuzzy that relationship didn't feel solid okay it didn't feel solid because I'm wondering. I maybe see what be high school. People I went to high school with will tell you, Miss Kwachopi, I wasn't at the I wasn't at the all about books, ni 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 ni. But my bestie was this is as in I'm I'm explaining this so that you understand why I'm saying it was there and then it wasn't. 
my best thing was was a what of 10 manzi alikuwa anafanya poa ngio she was so good with math she was basically a very bright student and i wasn't and i and i didn't feel like she she helped me get there although it's not like I, she owed me anything but i'm thinking if you're in a friendship shouldn't you facilitate each other's growth or encourage each other's growth or something of that sort so she she let me die in the gutter <laughs> and she never really like anyway 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 fast forward to campus i got a bestie finally a bestie who was an asshole i'm sorry i'm sorry to call her that because she she trolled me she said bad things about me this babe kai this babe i gave her everything you know me i'm such a sucker for love and if i love you i will love you with everything i've got oh my god <laughs> much as i'm an avoidant and i'm sad about that why am i <laughs> i'm almost crying fam oh my god oh my god oh shit um i'm such a sucker for love and it doesn't matter how you come in my life it doesn't matter who you are it doesn't matter the kind of uh like i will love you to death my god i will love you i will love you a good one. <laughs> oh, oh i'm gonna ruin my makeup took me so much time <laughs> oh my god i love <laughs> i love people with all my heart honestly i do and i give everything i can to people and oh my god does that mean i haven't healed from that breakup <laughs> i think i have because I never really like, I never really like uh, addressed it, even in therapy or whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm a sucker for love. And if I love you, I'm going to give you everything I have. I'm talking my family, my time, my money, my energy, everything, everything, fam. I don't know how to hold back. So I had this person that was literally my sister in campus and the things she did to me was so bad you see how you share your secrets with with someone and then they've shared their secrets with you too i mean at this point you guys are besties you shared everything and then in the streets you start hearing whatever you shared with them in confidence and man, this broke my heart. This broke my heart. I was like, finally, I have a bestie. Someone I can rely on. Someone I really love. Someone who literally gets me as a woman. Because she's a woman too. It was hard. It was difficult. Honestly. It was so difficult during that breakup. Because none of us like officially talked about it and broke up and i know sometimes you don't need closure and now that i'm talking about it it reminds me it reminds me that anyway you don't need closure i mean it reminds me that to me closure is important but um so i had everything i had and i went mia i did not explain to this person why i was distant i did not tell them why i i just gave up on the friendship I did not explain to them anything and we never even sat down if she was a good friend she could have come and told me hey you've been you've been aloof lately why what is happening why are you like this and what's going on with you and then with this with this bestie it felt like i was walking on eggshells there were things we could not talk about that's not to say that i left campus empty-handed of course i have two babes who are the cutest in this world honestly they are the cutest and i love them so much ha that aside this is me explaining to you about the lessons i learned in friendship that i mean man be careful who you pick as your friend honestly be careful who you pick as your friend because 
people out here are a little shitty and when you feel like you can you're walking on eggshells with your friend be rest assured that is not your friend because they're your friend they're not your parent you're not your sibling you should be able to talk to them about everything and anything if not most of the things you know what i'm saying yeah so <laughs> So basically that's how my journey has been with friends we'll talk about it in full like in length in another video but all i'm saying is my friends have been my greatest support my friends now have been of great support i have been through a lot of bs with 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 women and at some point i was like oh screw this i don't want to be friends with anyone i don't want to be friends with any woman because women are just the ghetto you know because of my experience in campus in high school and even in primary school hey i'm gonna tell you all that yeah so it felt like i was alone but then i wasn't alone because there were really genuine people at the time but right now i can sit here in confidence and with so much conviction and tell you that i have the best friends i have friends that i could never trade for anything i have friends who if anything happened right now i would i would die my god Whew. i love them so much and they are everything everything why am i so emotional today shoot oh yeah and they know themselves and they know that they know that i really love them i i adore them they should know oh my god i'm gonna bring some of them here and you're gonna say what i mean because they are the realest human beings and i feel like <laughs> even as i as i cry these are tears of joy now i promise <laughs> even as i cry just content idea just came up and I'm, I'm gonna bring them on board and you're gonna experience how cool these friends man we've been through a lot gosh we've been through a lot but here we are we're still really good friends and i love them so much they literally could stop their life for me and i would do the same for them so my friends obviously have always been present in my life moving forward and i am so grateful for them and they are such amazing people and they are, they are everything i could ever ask for for friends so if you're looking for friends please don't give up if you never had like a very good friend don't give up don't give up don't give up good people exist and you will see as we progress ah oh my god i need to compose myself ah lord i have cried i've never cried in any of my videos <laughs> but this is as real as it gets and from and moving forward i want you guys to be real i want our conversations to be real i want us to experience life in fullness you know in our emotions in our happiness in our sadness i still want us to experience life and basically that's where i have been and that's what i've been up to just learning a lot of learning a lot of relearning and then learning it's been it's been crazy it's been crazy and that said i guess we've come to the end of our video thank you so much and now my nose is clogged and i need to blow it and i am so sorry <laughs> And I am so sorry, I sound like I have a flu. I do not have a flu. I was just shedding tears. I was crying. Yeah, it's because when I remember how difficult it was for me to find friends and then being able to find them and just realize they're the most genuine people in my life. It's just so beautiful to watch, so beautiful to experience and to just live by and i feel like without i mean uh, as i wind up i want you to know that good people exist and you deserve every beautiful relation there is for you to deserve i mean there is for you to experience there is so much 
and even as I sit here, I'm happy in my relationship. I'm happy with my mom. I'm happy with my relationship with my sibling. It's gotten better. I'm happy with my relationship with my friends. I'm happy with my relationship with God. Like as I sit here, I sit here as a fool, as a fool, uh, as a fully, as a fully fed human being all round all around and i'm not even kidding so i want you to know that i love you and i adore you and thank you so much for being my friend and thank you so much for watching this video i can't even see what i'm how i look like because i'm just crying oh my god i've never even cried in any of my videos but okay so moving forward i want us to have candid conversations i want us to talk about relationships i want us to talk about wellness i want us to talk about life in general i want us to talk about anything and everything and i'm not gonna hold back because i've been holding back and that's why i've been saving a lot of stuff on this so channel much for being here you guys are amazing thank you for supporting me through everything and i am so grateful for this channel because this is how i get to pour out my heart to the world you know this is from me to you with so much love i love you guys please subscribe to my channel get me to 1k subscribers honestly i need to to fasten my seatbelt literally and I just did with this video so until next time I'm gonna see you and I'm gonna have to love you and leave you uh, have a beautiful journey in this journey of life don't hold back anything live your best life that said it's been real bye